evaluating the effect or the impacts and i know that there's been a couple of questions about this in some places um you know how do you uh, look at the um uh, odds ratios or the what's the difference between odds and odds ratios and hopefully i can try to explain that in the next few slides um so measures of effect so really this is about comparing two groups what i've said so far is uh, is about measuring the effect in one group and then we looked at study designs as to what we might be able to, um, uh, what, what designs we should be using to um, be able to calculate those measures. And now I'm going to go on to say, well, if we're going to compare different groups, if we're going to compare an exposed group to an unexposed group, then we're going to get a measure of effect. And this links up with what you've been talking about for uh, uh, um, odds ratios and other things like that um, and we can use measures of effect to describe the differences between the frequency of disease in the exposed population group so we could have two groups here and we could um, look at them at the end of a particular time and say in group one we have a prevalence here which is going to be d1 over n1 and we in group two, we'll have a prevalence, which is D2 over N2. And we might be able to just say, well, in one, it's a prevalence of 8%, and in the other, it's a prevalence of 12 And that's quite nice to describe those differences in different groups. However, what we want to do with um, an, uh, our analysis is perhaps go on a bit further than that and say, can we describe the differences and here we might describe the risk differences. We might describe the rate differences if we're looking at incidence rates. And the incidence rate differences will be the rate in one group minus the rate in the other group. Um, but differences are often used to describe the uh, differences between different groups, but we don't usually use them in analysis. Often we're going to use ratios in our analysis. We're going to say the risk ratio is the number who are positive out of the total population in one group and the number who are positive in the second group divided by the total number in that in that population and that's a risk ratio we're dividing the risk in one group with the risk in the second group a rate ratio again is going to be the rate in one group we have the number positive divided by the total time at risk and then this is going to be divided by the number positive in the second group divided by the total time of risk in the second The odds ratio here is going to be the odds in one group divided by the odds in the second group. And those are going to be used for um, some analysis there. And so often when we come to doing the analysis, we're going to use risk ratios, rate ratios, and odds ratios far more often than we use risk differences and rate differences, simply because the statistical methods that we have for using ratios is more advanced and more comprehensive. However, however, what we have here is, um, is we have these measures, these measures of effect, which are differences and ratios, but what we need also is to say, we need to have 